from the Earth Gospel for the Monday of the second week, morning prayer. An opening from Isaiah chapter 44. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, who formed you in the womb. I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretched out the heavens, who by myself spread out the earth. Here's a reading from Isaiah chapter 40. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and marked off the heavens with a span, enclosed the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the spirit of the Lord or as his counselor has instructed him? Whom did he consult for his enlightenment and who taught him the path of justice? who taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding. Even the nations are like a drop from a bucket and are accounted as dust on the scales. See, he takes up the aisles like fine dust. Holy wisdom, holy word. And another voice, a reading from Martin Luther. God is substantially present everywhere in and through all creatures, in all their parts and places, so that the world is full of God, and God fills all. But without God's being being encompassed and surrounded by it, God is at the same time outside and above all creatures. These are all exceedingly incomprehensible matters, yet they are articles of our faith and are attested clearly and mightily in holy writ. For how can reason tolerate it that the divine majesty is so small that it can be substantially present in a grain of wheat, on a grain, over a grain, through a grain, within and without, and that although it is a single majesty, it nevertheless is entirely in each grain separately, no matter how immeasurably numerous these grains may be? God's own divine essence can be in all creatures collectively, and in each one individually more profoundly, more intimately, more present than the creature is in itself. We'll have two minutes of silent reflection. As we move into prayer, we remember the people of Ukraine and Russia 
and pray for peace there and everywhere else where there's fighting today. And we remember all those close to us or far from us who are struggling with health issues today and pray for healing for all those who suffer and for those who care and look after them. Today's prayer is from Uniting Church in Australia. Gracious God, we praise you for the marvels of your creation, for plants growing in earth and water, the life inhabiting lakes and seas, for all that creeps through the soils and land, for all creatures in the wetlands and waterways, for life flying above earth and sea, for the diversity and beauty of your creation, we stand in awe and wonder. Amen. Amen. We close with a blessing. May the one who can scoop the ocean with one hand, the one who is profoundly present to each grain of sand, hold you firmly and carry you gently this day. Amen.